Hello, Spider-Man. How are you doing? Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Uh, welcome to our channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is March 31st, 2020. And uh, we're doing a live stream on um, sort of open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, finance, education, Wall Street, COVID. There's a lot going on. Chichonians assemble. <laughs> I'm trying to pronounce it correctly now, Spider-Man. Welcome, welcome to another live stream. Case man, slow mo chat. Is it slow mo? How do we speed? Uh, how do we speed it up? I'm not 100 percent sure how to do that. We'll see where it goes. Hi, Chicho. Baked. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'll always be making. I'm here too. Awesome, brother. Awesome. I linked you up. Uh, I'll always be making, by the way. I linked you up a article regarding homeschooling in the education folder. Uh, and I read your post you made on uh, our anarchism. Hey, Chicho Dragon. How are you doing? Let me do a little intro. Uh, well, I'll, we can chat, but I'm going to do a little intro for people who are going to watch this on another platform. For now, may it be BitChute to YouTube. Uh, if you want to know who I am, who we are, talking chatting it up we do have a patreon page i do share a lot of information there it's a fantastic way to support this project uh, you can follow the content being loaded up there and i do announce these live streams on patreon in sets that we do on twitch and this is where we're doing this live stream right now on twitch okay and right now exclusively i'm only live streaming on Twitch. so if you want to catch these live streams this is where you want to be at okay and i do announce the live streams uh 30 minutes beforehand on twitter gap minds lo and vk so if you follow those platforms uh i guess you can you have to turn off notification turn on notifications and i'll give you a little notification that we're going to go live in about 30 minutes and i do load up these videos on bitshoot and youtube right now all the videos to bitshoot as long as it's able to process it and most of the videos to uh, youtube uh, since the sensors are down a little bit uh, because google sort of kicked back on the censoring censoring uh, to a degree because of uh, the pandemic right now covid and whatnot uh, we're loading most of the stuff on YouTube as well. Okay, so there's a little gap, little window that we can share more information on YouTube. Okay, once the sensors start kicking in again, we'll probably reduce the frequency of the type of information we can load on YouTube because there are censoring in place, right? Zimmy, how are you doing? Sky Hall, how is it going? Mike, Mikeism. Hello, hello. First time catching you live. Awesome. Glad to have you here. Mikeism. <laughs> Uranism, nice. And uh, we are in times of a pandemic, and the name of the game right now is to flatten the curve. There are some people who are resisting this, and you mainly, I think, is people who have no one working in the healthcare industry, because flatten the curve doesn't mean you're going to get rid of what's happening. It's going to you're going to slow the slow the flow of the pandemic so that your healthcare institutions, your healthcare system, your healthcare providers are gonna be able to deal with the wave that's coming their way, right? And depending on where you are, this line that you see here, it's either pretty high where it can take a lot load or if it's really low, you can't take much load, okay? Be aware of where you are in your society. There are certain countries in the West, right? first world country second and third world if you want to use that terminology in all levels they're being overwhelmed right so flatten the curve aside from that i'm going to go to chat and we're going to talk it up uh there's a lot going on in the world and uh there's uh very little discussion regarding some of the uh some of these things uh, okay and welcome everyone by the way to our chat and the mods hello hello thank you for being here uh, good evening chicho hope you are well doing well 
doing well bird thank you very much big this is my first stream happy to be part uh part of it awesome awesome glad to have you baked like your name is the stream working i'm unable to watch it's frozen is it frozen uh i hope not uh must be and uh, partner for people in healthcare support group meeting partners for people in healthcare support group meeting <laughs> Yeah, it really depends on where you are as well. I also made a video I liked in that thread. Um, I responded to the link you gave me. That guy doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything. Well, we don't. And this is an article that Washington Post, it was published on the Washington Post, right? And it was about how edu homeschooling is going to destroy our education system and throw kids back a lot and stuff like this. The guy had out of... You know, I read the whole thing. Initially, I was really hesitant to read it because I don't read garbage like that very much. You can pretty much tell by the platform it's on and the, and the title and the type of articles that that platform news, news it's not news, propaganda site has been publishing. You got a, you got a pretty good idea of what they're going to talk about. And after reading it, it, it was the same crap, really, right? read the whole article there's about 15 to 20 percent of actual legit concerns and the other 80 85 percent is just pure garbage right supporting the centralized institutions right so and the article on washington post uh, again I, I don't have the title here i'll read the title for you i'm just going to go over our, to our discord page um, and i linked it up to archive because <laughs> they actually they're they're actually uh what do you call it uh, uh it's a it's a paid site right washington post you have to subscribe to us so i threw it on archive uh, obviously i didn't i don't subscribe to them uh, and the title of the article is homeschooling during the coronavirus will set back a generation of children long breaks are damaging virtual learning is uh, erratic the stakes are high oh my god so oh, 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 oh. and you read this thing and you know 10 percent legit concerns 90 percent garbage okay 90 percent garbage uh, disgusting actually <laughs> really it's incredible uh -huh. da -da 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 -da. hey chicho hope all is well and you're safe and healthy i am i am eddie um i've got myself uh, the bakery opened up it closed for a couple of days i got myself some apple some peanut butter and i picked up some cd bread from the bakery okay and i toast this this baby up the cd bread is really good and you can eat it with the apple i have popped a couple before the stream it was fantastic what are some easy ways we can economically decentralize hannah hannah is this hannah hannah you changed your name hannah nana j10 I ate the whole <laughs> is this Hannah Hannah or is this another Hannah who is saying that the, the, the legendary Rob boss oh let me link you up here I'll link you up to that to the article just in case I killed it but I don't recommend if you want to it's up to you if you want to read it it's uh, it's medium-sized article like it's it's not gonna take you long to read it but uh, uh, you know you'll have an idea here and if I remember, I'll link this up in uh, in uh, YouTube and uh, disc um, in YouTube and BitChute if it uh, if I remember to link this up. Okay. Uh, evening, Chicho, intelligent blueberry. How are you doing? Late surprise stream. Nice. It shouldn't be a surprise. I announced it. Who's? How you doing? Holding who's? How's life? Thank you very much for joining Patreon. By the way and for any of you that are on patreon thank you very much supporting this work on patreon really that gives me a little bit of stability and a little bit of idea and sort of a base that i can work from right and you, you can tell i'm starting to push that a little bit more because uh this period that we're going through right now is extremely important you could see it coming a mile away it's sort of brings together everything I've been doing online for the last 15 years really because it's links up to the 2008 financial crisis the biggest scam in 
human history until now this is now the biggest scam in human history right with the bailouts and the centralization of power and even support for finance even further and stuff like this so it brings it out so more people are getting that ah oh, the burn smell going wait a second there's something wrong here right so whenever there's something wrong in our society where more people are for lack of a better term waking up it's a good way to go hard right so that's what i'm doing right now <laughs> just letting you guys know <laughs> yum chicho you have the best knives i try i try to eat healthy that's one thing i've learned if i can give you guys one recommendation eat healthy okay and learn math that's two recommendations but your sleepy waves how's life ah you sleepy waves case man says what was the discord message about uh i just posted it da, da, da. oh case man oh i don't know that one sounds like that article was written by someone who wasn't homeschooled <laughs> very well said legendary rob was and was envious and maybe the person got a degree in something that went into debt like a gazillion dollars or fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars and he has to peddle crap to pay his student loans right they don't ask the kids or even the educators what they think it's just his opinion and he is a corporate stooge 100 percent corporate stooge right i guess he's paying the student loans right gives us enough money to pay the student loans maybe <laughs> it's me hannah 10 nice i changed my name easy for uh some streamers to read okay hannah oh you doubled the ends you triple the end in one place and double in the other okay okay cool i tell you blueberry chicho question do you think it's possible for me to survive an entire month of feeding myself with only 150 canadian yeah for example um uh, bag of apples right i bought for six dollars right if you buy two bags of apples it'll last you a month it should so you can have an apple a day okay approximately a month anyway peanut butter is really cheap okay so you can get peanut butter that's protein the bread i i buy day old i'm on budget i buy day old bread right and i'm buying it for half the price that they're selling it for and it's healthy bread it's good bread right so day old bread right now is costing me 425 peanut butter is around seven dollars okay apples bag of apples is around six dollars right now you could have got it cheaper before the pandemic but you might be able to get it cheaper uh, still right so uh let's say you get three bags of apples that's 18 dollars right let's say 20 bucks you buy you, i mean we're going bare men right uh if you buy peanut butter six dollars seven dollars a jar right get three jars of peanut butter that's let's say another 20 so that's 40. bread you can throw it in the freezer if you have a freezer let's say five bucks a pop let's say you buy four loaves of bread that's another 20 bucks so that's 60 bucks 60 out of 150 okay you can go buy bones okay from the butcher shop and make yourself broth okay so it should be fairly cheap right i'll show you in the next cooking stream where i bought chicken bones right chicken carcass carcasses but i also bought bones with marrow in them as well right and that was very cheap so you can boil those up bone broth once once a week right drink it up for one or two days right that's good minerals for you okay that should cost you let's say another 20 bucks 20 or 30 bucks so do it appropriately right you need some greens in there so what's the cheapest greens you can buy uh you can buy lettuce but make sure you right now because uh handling and stuff like this you really need to wash them well right if you're going to eat them raw okay so yeah you could do it for 150 you but you can't go buy out you can't go eat out and you don't want to eat out you can't order pizza don't order pizza right this is much better okay i don't join i didn't join the patreon oh you didn't join the patreon who's 
but I will. Okay, I thought you did. I saw someone uh, join. <laughs> What's up, Chicho? Uh, didn't want that. I don't want. I don't feel like I'm pushing you towards it. By the way, <laughs> I'm messing messing around with names a lot. What's up, Chicho? Been waiting. Need the stream for a minute. Do you uh, set up slow messaging? Did you set up? I don't know. I don't know if this is slow mode or not. Uh, I don't even know how to turn on or off slow mode, brother. Uh, the mods took care of that. Uh, we think homeschooling would benefit kids and parents. Parents and kids would be more involved with each other for sure. But it's not going to be a quick fix. That's the kicker, right? And that's the point that this guy who wrote the article, uh, that's one of the valid points he made right there are families that don't have internet there's families that don't have the uh, hardware to be able to do uh skyping or zooming or uh, google hangouting or i uh, you know whatever the whatever the uh what do you call it the the school the centralized system is a lot of centralized schools aren't they're not even they haven't rolled this out yet right a lot of people can't afford people like me to teach them right so the guy has a valid point but the problem is not the homeschooling right so th that is a problem but he was putting the blame on the homeschooling the problem is not the homeschooling the problem is the centralized state that has impoverished so many people that they can't do this right you say you want uh, decentralization in what way? Tax the rich, uh, redistribute wealth. I want some specifics. Uh, decentralize our education system. That's one of the first ones, Hannah. Right? Stop giving taxpayer funded money to Wall Street. Stop finan financializing our whole economy. Right? Do not allow Wall Street to buy everything right don't give them trillions of dollars to go buy dialect uh, what do you call it homes that have been uh, foreclosed on because of the scams they pulled so they can buy all these homes put them together in the REIT offering right put the company together in the stock market sell stocks on it pay out dividends by collecting rent from the poor right that whole scenario was what played out from the 2008 financial collapse uh the great recession the greatest scam in human history since until now right that's what they did okay i love hearing your name yeah they're playing that the link the link the link <laughs> cheryl how are you doing uh what should uh what should be free and what should be our free will economically I don't know what that means, Hannah. Case man, thank you very much for the Twitch, Twitch Prime sub. I actually think the quarantine is making me eat a lot healthier. Cool, awesome bird. All right, I'm getting more exercise for some reason. I because my my energy levels kicked up a lot. Right, it's like oh, let's take care of some stuff. Right, it's a good a good opportunity. There's a window open right now to share very important bits of information that will it because it'll have it'll make people realize what's taking place right if you don't have traumatic events like this happening in society most people go about their daily lives going da -da 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 -da, everything's hunky-dory i don't need to pay attention right everything's going well once start things start shaking up people start asking questions hey what's going on that's when you feed them the information this is what's going on hurry up right I'm a po uh, I'm opposite. I've been stress eating a lot of crap food case, man. I need to you need to stop. Where do we draw the line? In what way, Hannah? You got to be specific, brother. Uh, like just the way you're asking me to be specific, you have to ask, you have to be specific with me. Like in what way? Draw the line where? Do you think it's dangerous to eat out right now? Uh, I wouldn't and I'm not okay i feel like it's counterproductive to stay inside but still eat out uh given the chances of being affected i would sleepy waves i wouldn't eat out right now and i won't uh, i don't think it's a wise choice right chat command for slow mo off is slow mo slow off okay let me do this wait a second i'm not sure if i should do this how far behind am i 
da, 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 da. Should we do slow off? Let's do slow off and see what happens. Hey, this happened. Oop. Chicho disables slow mode for this room. Okay. Uh, and then how do you turn it back on again? I'm not sure even how to turn it back on. Uh, slow mo, I guess. What did I chat? What did I write down? <laughs> I don't even know what I wrote down. <laughs> okay, gang, I'm sc scrolling down all the way to the bottom. If we turn off the slow mo, that way, uh, because I won't catch uh, the chat. I hope everyone's having a good conversation. Uh, as you can tell, I'm pretty high energy right now. So, um, so if there's anything directed towards me, please put my name in there and I'll catch it. Okay, but I've scrolled down all the way to the bottom. Hannah, the quarantine is making me eat way better. I ate tons of veggies the last few days. I also walk uh, in the forest with uh, social distancing. Nice. How do we find that balance where we can have a free market economy yet hold Wall Street accountable for faulty crap investments? Here's a kicker, Hannah, right? This isn't going to be an overnight fix. People want something overnight right now. It's not going to be overnight. The tentacles are deep within our societies, right? You, like it's an, you can't you can't kill the patient, by, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't even know that saying. You kill the patient. What is it? I I, I don't know the saying, right? But uh, or I can't remember the saying. I know the saying, but I can't remember the saying, right? Their tentacles are deep within our societies, right? So one of the things that needs to be done, because it has to be multi-pronged, right? One of the things that has to be done is alternative choices to the centralized institutions have to exist, right? That means there has to be alternate forms of education. There has to be alternate places for you to invest. There has to be alternate places to entertain yourself, right? So if everybody starts giving their money to Disney, let's say they join Disney Plus, all the independent creators online will disappear because no funds will go to them you want to decentralize really you want to decentralize a huge chunk of our society stop supporting those mega corporations that have been taking bailouts taxpayer bailouts okay buying back their stock giving dividends to stockholders and when their stocks collapse they come back to the government and say hey we need more money right and the government says sure here's a few more trillion dollars and they take that they get their bonuses out of that guess what they're going to do they're going to buy back their stock hand it out as dividends and when the next collapse happens they get this is, it's this whole thing right the kicker is every time the price tag is higher because this is exponential growth they're looking for right it's exponential growth that's the ponzi scheme of wall street right so one way to stop it prevent governments from bailing out corporations okay who have been buying back their stock paying dividends and all that jazz legendary rob boss do you think more people will end up dying because of the economic collapse and unemployment versus those that die from the coronavirus here's a kicker stat that i saw right do not kill the patient to cure the disease thank you very much catholic traditionalists do not kill the patients to cure the disease well well said i wish i remembered that right as for your question legendary rob boss i saw one stat which was crazy right i don't know where i saw it it could have been on on our discord bay page it could have been somewhere else i think it was on our discord page someone shared the graph right supposedly monthly or weekly deaths in the united states are down right even though people are dying of covid right month weekly deaths in the united states are down dramatically why are they down because people are locked up in their homes right or there's physical distancing going on so they're not on the road they're not dying in traffic accidents right so here's one way you look at, you can look at it the pandemic right now is saving lives because people aren't dying in traffic accidents like dramatically right which is an absurd way of saying it right so is the economic collapse and unemployment versus going to kill more people than the coronavirus 
that's something that people are saying that are 100% vested in our current economic system. Our current economic system in the limit is going to kill everyone, right? So what's the time frame we're looking at? Only during the unemployment period is it going to kill more people in COVID-19? Maybe, right? But in the limit, if we continue this economic system, is our economic system going to going to destroy way more lives and kill more, way more people than us dealing with the pandemic in a proper way, right? And taking a look at our social economic system and trying to figure out why is it that healthcare workers don't have the resources at their disposal to be able to deal with patients right why have hospital beds been closed why has why according to the washington post article about homeschooling and our education system why was that article so frightening to anyone that has no idea how destructive our central ed education system is right the guy was creating doom and gloom that's going to destroy generation of people right but it's our centralized education system that has been destroying generations of people okay so we have to put a timeline in there rob boss by the way i'm sorry if i'm being a little bit of hard right <laughs> i'm in hardcore mode right now so i'm going to read your comment again so in that was my answer to your comment hopefully i answered it but let me read it again do you think more people will end up dying because of the economic collapse and unemployment versus those that die from the uh, from coronavirus it really depends if we continue on with this political economic system or if we really put the time and energy in to change it if we change it no way less people will die if we continue on with the sh charade of this ponzi scheme yeah it will be in the next collapse as well right and i'm going to keep on scrolling down until i see what i'm something re referenced to me gang because i'm assuming there's a lot of people talking with each other as well apologies if i'm doing this but we kicked off slow-mo and uh, i'm ranting right uh sleepy way chicho what do you mean when you say in the limit in the limit means okay what's our timeline right so in the limit covid 19 disappears right possibly right so the question is how long down the road are we looking at right the the ultimate end result of capitalism in this crony state that it's in is one entity controls everything right so it's complete centralization that is also the ultimate end result of the absolute fanaticism of every other type of almost every other type of economic system that is on the table right now right socialism is the same deal one entity controls everything right uh communism was the same thing fascism is the same thing right so we really have to think about if you extend our current economic political system past the immediate past the current crisis right where does it take us that is the question that some of us were asking in 2008 right and some some of us you could see the 2008 crisis coming right crisis the scam coming just look at the 2005 bankruptcy bill how is it possible that they passed the bankruptcy bill making it harder for people to declare bankruptcy bankruptcy or individuals right putting on more more burden on students that they couldn't uh, write off their student debts and then lo and behold two years later there's a gigantic economic class the largest in human history right some of us that were seeing some of the numbers coming out knew that was coming right they the people that passed that bill knew that there was a crisis coming way before any of us did right they protected themselves right. fallen king Doop. <laughs> i'm gonna ban somebody gang Doop, doop. i'm gonna scroll down oh i missed a couple of chichos 
sorry buddy i'm zero tolerant right now i'm in speed mode right da, 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 da. Uh, is a pandemic a black swan sure if you want to think about it that way yeah no not seems serious yeah he said the pandemic is a white spawn but i don't know what that means it 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 wasn't it wasn't something that wasn't predicted i'm assuming a white spawn it means it's not the big big thing right it's going to pass pretty quickly but it is a black swan to a certain degree it's not it's being used as a black swan event that's an excuse right when the market drops 30 percent 33 percent right it's being used as an excuse that's why the market dropped no that's not why the market dropped that was the excuse used for the market to drop because the market was already a sham anyway right look at the repo crisis months beforehand what makes you think uh legendary rob boss chicho what makes you think the same economic system won't continue after the crisis do you have some information to make you think that i, I don't i i don't know what's going to happen after this right all i know is every time there's a crisis like this more people are getting involved and realizing that this whole economic system is a complete sham right and they're doing whatever they need to do it to not participate in the system right so i i'm definitely seeing that that less and less people are participating in the system less and less people are buying you know buying into the stock market right i don't know you know i know i know i know people from all walks of life there's less people playing the markets now than they were in the past they might be traders but people aren't really thinking about earning a lot of money and putting into wall street they're not not the same way they were 20 years ago okay so it is changing we'll see how much it changes after this one my guess is it's going to be an order of magnitude greater change than the 2008 change that came about all of a sudden woke a ton of people up like the 2008 thing that happened it was a catalyst for WikiLeaks, for cryptocurrencies, for the type of uh, news, independent new news broadcasting that you're seeing online. It was a catalyst for independent education. Like the 2008, what happened? That really gave birth in collaboration with Occupy Wall Street. A lot of things came out of that, right? I kicked it into hardcore mode. I was doing it before the 2008 collapse, right? I started making math videos in 2007 and talking about all this stuff in 2006 and whatnot, right? But it allowed me to see that it was being rolled out more and more, which was fantastic. Chicho, let's rant then. Do you think, <laughs> do you think is, uh, what do you think is benefiting? Uh, who do you think is benefiting from this pandemic? If we want to break out the tinfoil hats, who do we think would want this to happen? Who do I think would want this to happen? Caseman, um, in what regards? Are we talking geopolitically, economically? Uh, there are people who are benefiting. Pharmaceutical companies are gonna benefit big, big time, right? A lot of companies on Wall Street they're going to benefit because of the bailouts because their business model was not sustainable they were already teeter-tottering up the yin yang right like look at boeing right boeing stock 350 dollars. they have two plane crashes because they they installed faulty software didn't give training to the pilots and didn't warn the airlines the way they should have automation right two planes crashed their stock goes from 350 down to 320 or something and it comes back up again 340 right what a pus in terms of a company that is really what a pus right but it's it was still maintaining right why was it still up there because the funds that had that thing had to had to maintain that level right and then COVID happens and the stock completely collapses was the stock worth 350 340 hell no is it worth 140 right now that it's at 150 right now as of march 31st or so by the way i'm keeping track of the markets right you can you can tell a lot uh 
as to what is happening and what is going on by following certain stocks in the market right is it worth that right now hell no why did it come up from 180 all the way to 360 why did it double in the last little bit oh because u.s taxpayers are about to give it hundreds of billions of dollars so they can uh, launder the money again right uh, so who benefits from this does the war machine benefit that do biotech companies benefit uh, is there an economic war being waged is it just nature benefiting by giving a heads up to humanity saying hey stop s effing around with the natural system because the earth is going to get pretty pissed and lay lay down a pandemic on the virus that's growing on it which is humanity if you want to think about go that far down the road there, there's a lot case man there's a lot you could go down so many rabbit holes you just lost power oh no i'm scrolling down gang chicho mike is a mike mike mikeism how about all of the u.s senators who sold their stocks just before the crash we need a wide scale political upheaval i don't disagree with you we do but mikeism if those people that were paying attention you could see this thing coming a mile away really we talked about it in previous streams right people ask me well, you know what would you stock market i i've been saying for the last six months a year i would be 100 percent in puts if i was in the market right and i don't know a couple of weeks ago or a week ago or something when they said when the whole thing collapsed you know whatever 30 percent, you could see them coming up with a bill to bail out wall street if you want to play that market you go oh yeah you buy some stuff right I mentioned one company cannabis company in nanaimo which uh, anyway we're talking about stock markets right yeah look all of our governments are full of corrupt people i don't care where you live i don't know of any government in the world that is not corrupt to the core there are some that are less okay there are some like there are some countries that are shining during this pandemic really they're shining they're, they're they've done certain things that humanity should look proudly upon one of them is cuba sending doctors all over the world to help people during a pandemic accepting cruise ships with citizens of other nations that their nations would not accept them one of them being the uk they wouldn't accept a cruise ship with uk citizens on there because they were scared of COVID 19. cuba said come on doc here we'll take care of you right so yeah i agree with you that we need a wild scale political upheaval what kind of an upheaval it has to be peaceful sleepy waves when you say humanity is a virus that mild eco-fascism yeah i'm just kidding by the way i'm using extreme words because we're talking about extreme events right that's you know the way i said it is basically if one of the people that said it uh, you'll you'll find a rant on him is joe rogan he said it i don't know when when he said it like 10 years ago there's a little video of him or voice of him saying this thing right i don't think we're a virus i think we're grand amazing creatures right legendary rob boss oh it came all the way down nice i'm gonna read this da, 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 da. i think the way we fix this is we make the fed completely public with direct representation from the people and cut the central bank ties then states can start public banks that invest public banks i 100 percent agree with right invest any mortgage interest in in the local community projects and all savings will be backed by u.s treasury bonds possibly uh rob boss for sure that is an option but it's not just one solution it has to be multi-pronged whatever solution we're gonna solutions we're gonna come up with it has to be multiplying you can't just do one thing because this current economic system political economic system that is in place right now they know the loopholes because they wrote the laws 
The corporations have written these laws. They got an army of lawyers, right? An army of accountants that know every loophole within within the system that they've established, right? So if you try to continue to work within the system, you're going to get burned, right? Or you're going to be taken over, right? Uh, so it has to be multi-pronged. It really has to be multi-pronged. Wait, I didn't know Chicho has a <laughs> uh, Twitch. The heck, Tristanic, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Agreed. Were the CEOs that left certain companies and why? I saw Bill Gates left. There's a lot of CEOs that left a lot of companies during the last few months. Some of the one of the reasons they left those companies because they freed them up to sell their stocks, right? So they sold their stocks. You're telling me politicians, corrupt politicians that knew what was happening. And if I'll say this again, if you were paying attention, looked at the mathematics, you knew what was happening, right? You knew this was coming. Those CEOs resigned. It frees them up to cash out, sell stocks, uh, um, exercise their options, right? take their bonuses right they pull out right you know coincidences 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 co how many coincidences do you need before you go hey wait a second <laughs> wait a minute how many coincidences how come none of these coincidences come up for you It's easy to cheat if you wrote the rules exactly always be making uh, Tristanic 13 Chicho do you think that any of the corrupt politicians that were involved with Epstein will be brought to justice no I don't think so not yet we'll see where it goes before the politicians get hit Epstein's handlers need to be hit right where is Jelan Maxwell? Right. Once we see questions being answered on that front, then maybe we can start talking about politicians. Right. Chicho, VC, how are you doing? Chicho, do you think abolishing currency would be a good thing? Um, what do you mean currency? You mean fiat currency? You mean money? Uh, I, I I know what you mean, but do you mean centralized currency? Like we need some kind of means for global trade to take place. So there needs to be a certain currency where international trade to, can take place, right? But one of the things we could start rolling out as well is local currencies, local community cur currencies, right? There are places, like one of the places that a local currency existed was in my area where an island, I think it was Bowen Island, or I forget which island it was, that has its own currency, right? And it keeps things in a local community, local setting, right? So we could start introducing more local currencies, community-based currencies and stuff like this, but we also need some kind of currency that you can do international trade with, right? Um, and you can't really get rid of uh, there's definitions for this a way for us to do trade right a rapid way for us to do trade i fear for italy italy is in trouble right and italy has choices to make right now do you still want to stay in the eu where they've gotten zero help or do they want to start saying the help with sanctions and start doing trade with countries that are helping them isn't that what really trade and community is about right chicho traswell how are you doing devil's advocate question here nice if power tends to lead to corruption all governments are corrupt and knowledge leads to greater power then how can we argue that education is good because power is not necessarily leads to corruption it's capital 
right capital the the interpretation is is moot i guess and we do use the term uh what was that saying power ultimate power release to ultimate corrupt absolute power absolute power uh corrupts absolutely right is that the saying absolute power corrupts absolutely something like that but there's a disclaimer in there absolute power right like for me i have absolute power or unlimited power on on my chat right but if i start misusing my power my channel won't get any views and i'm sitting there talking to nothing right so it's the way you use that power we have to hold power accountable the problem right now that we have is power is not held accountable right well i'll give you an example there's a company in bc they were they had a major tailings pond that inspectors went in there and said okay this thing is not safe it's going to break and then this tailings pond broke and toxic waste just went down a river miles down a river and destroyed a ton of an environment and it was a salmon um what do you call it a river where salmon spawn all the way up and stuff like this and then the government in bc didn't hold them accountable right so they gave them a pass who knows they probably got some kickbacks the previous government in bc the liberal government in bc right so power was not held accountable the with power right there's two things that we need to do as a society to make sure that power does not become corrupt and take over every aspect of our lives okay one of them is we need transparency of power right so the more power an institution individual has over society they have to become more and more transparent right so for example i have to be more transparent than you have to be because i'm have more power on this platform than you do on this platform right so the the more power an institution or individual has the more transparent they need to be and that is the role that wikileaks plays and which is why wikileaks is extremely important okay the second thing that needs to happen with power is power needs to be held accountable right one thing i've constantly said on my streams and my videos if i'm wrong on something if i'm misquoting something hold me accountable right challenge me if i misspeak say so on discord i've written some stuff one of them was i i used the word started when we we're talking about COVID or something and dante called me out on it and said if you say started me you're implying that it was intentional and i said okay so i'm sorry i used the wrong word right so you have to hold power accountable right our judiciary right now our current economic system right now doesn't hold power accountable so we're missing on two fronts right what happens with that power is completely corrupt in our societies right so we have to bring those two things into the forefront institutions people that are holding power accountable they should be praised they should be lifted up in our society okay power that misuses their power okay or capital that misuses their power they have to be held 100 percent liable accountable for their crimes okay i hope that answered your question that was a nice rant <laughs> i think i scrolled down all the way to the bottom gang that was the last thing directed towards me power is a tool not a weapon yeah like if you think about it that way by the way then for those that have a driver's license you can't go around driving on sidewalk and killing people right there's rules that you have to abide by and if you break them you're held accountable right legendary rob boss i posted a good article explain explaining the behind the scenes happening with fed right now in the economics discord channel awesome thanks legendary rob boss and 100 percent, the fed is completely corrupt all right 
but is controlled by those who have a vested interest in Wall Street. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. But I'm guessing there isn't a single person in the Federal Reserve, the whole institution that there are thousands of people involved, there isn't a single person in the Federal Reserve and all the different branches they have that doesn't have money in the stock market, right? So the Federal Reserve, everybody that works for them, I'm guessing, right, that there isn't a single person that is not invested in the stock market. The people that are invested in the stock market, 80% eighty of the eighty of the people don't have a vested interest in the stock market. So why is it that the Federal Reserve, the people working for it, that are invested in the stock market are controlling that much money, right? A lot of the Fed appointees are previous central bank presidents, yeah. Okay, I'm going to catch up on the chat. Well, towards the end anyway. Sorry, gang. Uh, if there's anything directed towards me, again, please post it. Mm. Uh, Traswell, thanks, chat and Chicho, for commenting on my question. I appreciate the uh, the redefinition that capital leads to corruption, Chicho, and centralized power corrupts. Centralized power, yeah. Centralized power is we need to decentralize, right? The reason centralized power corrupts, we've talked about this, is because if there's an institution or individuals or group of people that want to corrupt an institution, it's easier to corrupt one person two people than it is a thousand people so you can't take all that power put it into a funnel and say okay this is where all the power is because those who want to corrupt will just go to that location and corrupt well vc i don't think so the media isn't addressing the fact that having medicare for all would help help millions of lives throughout this pandemic so many people lost their jobs and their health insurance and don't know that Biden is against it and Bernie is for. Here, here's the kicker, VC, regarding uh, Medicare for all, right? When I would talk with people regarding, look, in a society, it's to the best interest of a society, of a community, of a family, of a government to make sure that it's citizenry, right? The people that live in that community, the members of the family, okay, are healthy. It's 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 a no-brainer, right? It literally is a no-brainer. If you wanna know how much of a no-brainer it is, talk to any family that has someone that is severely ill in that family, the stress level in that family, the financial difficulties in that family, just the misery in that family is tremendous right and then talk to a go to a go to a family find a family nobody is ill and if anybody's ill everyone pitches in and takes care of that person right when i would bring this up with people who had who have jobs or had jobs where they had health care and dental and optometry and all this jazz right they would say well all you have to do is get a good job where the company provides the health care for you why should the government or why should the society pay for the health care of everyone especially if there's people there who aren't working right who are lazy like this is what they would say right and i would turn to them i go look man what happens if you lose your job <laughs> you lose your job you lose your health care you're destroyed i don't care how much finances how much savings you have you're destroyed right especially when you get ill People go, oh, that's never going to happen. I'll always find a job. I'll do this. Okay, man. Okay. Right? And they don't, they, don't, they don't connect the illness of a society. Like, one thing that should really ring a bell for people right now is, oh, everybody is a threat now. Right? Why? Because a lot of them don't have health care. Oh, the homeless person that's going to come and go past you. Oh. They don't have health care. Maybe they have COVID. Oh, such a dangerous person. Well, why don't, you, why don't you as a society 
provide health care to people who don't have it, right? Because a virus doesn't give a rat's ass if you're a billionaire or if you're a homeless person, right? Hypothetical question, you all know. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hypothetical question. Is it better to have corrupt governments uh, that does some good or no corrupted, incompetent government that paves the path to hell in good, is good intentions? That's like uh, asking Julian Assange had the best, best answer for that, by the way. Julian Assange, they asked him, uh, you know, who do you like better, Trump or Hillary? And he turned around and said, that's like asking me if I like gonorrhea or syphilis, if I would like to get gonorrhea or syphilis. He said, I, I don't want either of them. Why is the choice limited to those two? That's, that's not a, that's silly. That's a very simple way of presenting things, right? Gonorrhea or syphilis, neither. I'm out. <laughs> I'm not going to play because that that what i feel about the current democratic uh nomination biden is corrupt but could do some change no biden is garbage i wouldn't no do you want gonorrhea do, do you want gonorrhea oh, oh, oh wait do you want syphilis which one do you want no man that's not a choice uh and versus bernie who i feel would not be corrupted but would drown in Washington. Uh, dude, I, I would not, I've said this before, I wouldn't vote for anyone in the DNC or the Republicans. I wouldn't vote for them. Why? If you want to vote, go go to the vote. I've said this before, in, because when people start asking me Hillary or Trump back in 2016, I said, man, if you're asking me this question, we're starting off on the, like, we got a lot of, a lot of, miles to cover right and i put out a video if you do chicho elections you'll find like an hour video i guess i put out when people are asking me hillary trump hillary trump it's sort of the same question you're asking me right now right hillary trump hillary trump i said look man i would any voting machine any legitimate system right on their ballot they should have none of the above right i don't like any of these bozos they should maybe put it exactly in those words. I don't like any of these bozos. They're all corrupt. Then you go in there and tick your mark. If more than 50% of the people say, I don't like any of these bozos, right? Then get some things to kick into play. So you try new bozos or something, right? None of the, be up, none of the above. Tristonic. I see you have a bit shoot. Have you heard or are considering using library? I've looked at library. It's just I'm very limited right now in time, right? I want to I want to stabilize what I have right now, right? So I'm going to do these in steps. I want to kick up my viewership on BitChute. Like my you know, I have triggers I need to hit before I can expand even further, right? Uh, decentralize even thir further. So I'm trying to get my view a bit shoot membership higher. I'm trying to get my Patreon membership higher. I'm trying to get Twitch higher to a level where it's competing with YouTube. And by the way, YouTube is getting horrendous in terms of financing, right? Because and viewership as well, right? So Twitch, fantastic community, is in terms of uh, how it's treating its content creators right in terms of uh financially in terms of uh perks in terms of the system censoring and stuff like this is an order of magnitude better than youtube right we only have like for example i'm getting more subscribers on twitch right now on a monthly basis than i am on youtube why because youtube is for independent creators they've relegated them to the non-status right so for example on my videos i was on youtube i was getting more views four years ago than i am now right and it's not about the content right it's it's about the filters that youtube kicked in so once i stabilize on some of these other platforms right then i'm gonna do the next phase 
of the expansion which is go to library and there's a few other ones that i have lined up to do as well right and another one that i need to do is find a third video sharing platform which is uh, i believe the library is i'll see which ones last through this uh crisis i guess you want to call it vc exactly democratic voters overwhelmingly want uh for m4a uh for i forget i don't know what that stands for but the corporate media is uh, that's a medicare medicare for all i believe yeah medicare for all Whew, i had to put it together right but the corporate media is refusing to differentiate between their candidates and refusing uh confusing part and for those people that are still watching corporate propaganda stop watching it really anyone talks to you about anything that's happening in corporate propaganda like i did regarding washington post education like that's the first long article i've read on washington post for a long time or medium-sized article because i refuse to give them my time they're just garbage they're propaganda okay uh, so stop watching corporate propaganda subliminal pseudonym. pseudonym how are you doing chicho if government is decentralized how is healthcare implemented to all state centralized city it could be different solutions in different parts of the world right i have no problem having certain things that are universal like really the problem with government right now is it dictates how human beings should interact with each other it dictates what human beings should think it dictates what human beings are allowed to consume it dictates what human beings are allowed to watch right it dictates what human beings are allowed to think none of that should be centralized none of that should be centralized any community and you have to consider what your community is right I'm Canadian I consider all of Canada to be my community I live on planet Earth I consider all of humanity to me to be my community for me everybody should have access to a good education to good housing uh, and health care and have access to water that is not contaminated and food that is going to feed them nourish them right how that's achieved is is up for grabs traswell chicho following up to um temper tas or um i gotta pronounce your name temp i'm gonna say temp i hope that's okay temp temp's question is globalization the reason that we seem to only have those two options is financialization that we only have those two options okay is the magnitude of current government is the magnitude of current government the reason we cannot have competent non-corrupt governments and would a smaller almost tribal system work better to a certain degree traswell okay to a certain degree it really depends on how that's rolled out one of the solutions to our current problem is reshaping our education system the reason we are in this predicament right now is because these powers right and if you have to you have to think about it as institutions right human beings we're only alive for a certain period of time we only know what's going on for an even shorter period of time right so let's say we're politically economically active for 30 years of our lives right corporations are active for decades government powers are active for centuries some of them right so they outlast us so the things that they kick into gear implement they don't think about it they do to a certain degree in five-year terms the way we do right they're thinking oh how is this going to play out 30 years down the road right how is this going to play out 50 years down the road are we going to be able to accumulate more power for sure that's what they think 20 years down the road how many here have a 20-year plan really how many how many have a 20-year plan i can guarantee you every government in the world has a 20-year plan okay so 
the when it comes to answering your question we we have to start thinking longer term right we have to start thinking what is in place right now that has brought us to this point in time currency is one of them money the way money is managed the way money appears right our electoral system is one of them one of the main ones is our education system right which is why i'm hitting it through the education front in a big way right another one is in terms of your rights prohibition right once you start prohibiting things in our societies you start destroying a way of thought right one of the biggest ones is prohibition of entheogens certain entheogens because what that has done according to robert anton wilson right that has been a genocide on a way of thinking and a way of being committed on a huge portion of our population right so to a certain degree it's about decentralization catholic traditionalist how are you doing i would like to see a candidate that believes in uh the de devolution of authority uh, from large central governments to small local associations not holding my breath though i'm i'm with you but i think that's slowly going to happen i think a lot of people uh, the positive side of what's taking place right now is a lot of people are going wait a second what's going on and we have to share as much information as possible that's why there's so much censorship on a lot of the platforms right they're preventing people from saying certain things because they don't want that information getting out all right i'm scrolling down gang observe the con observe the con what are entheogens entheogens are plants that are psychoactive right and fungi fits in that category as well right so any type of substance that is um psychoactive flatten the curve flatten the curve not, yeah and is it time for a public service announcement let's do a public service announcement where i can't 100 i can't 100 agree with that. That, that 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 with which one those substances can hurt people are you an adult do you know what hurts you something that hurts me may not hurt you right are you allergic to strawberries mm, i love strawberries should we prohibit strawberries because you're allergic to them should we prohibit bees because there are millions of people that if get they get stung they might die uh, they might or th yeah they get stung they might die no if you're an adult you should have the right to decide how you want to interact in your life yes but we can't take that chance with everyone who when do we consider someone to be an adult you don't need people detached from reality uh I, what do you mean detached from reality how many people do you know right now that are completely detached from reality would you say would you say for example that huge chunk of the government in the united states and some of the other countries are completely detached from reality i vote to her permanent wants always be making <laughs> and let's do a little public service announcement gang today is march 31st 2020 right and we're in the middle of a pandemic and it is really really important for us to flatten the curve right because right now there's something going around that a lot of people are getting sick and what's happening is their infrastructure is not in place we don't have enough healthcare workers protected to be take to take care of everybody that's getting sick so what that's resulting in is a lot of healthcare workers are getting sick okay and if sort of a it becomes a snowball you start losing healthcare workers there's going to be less people taking care of the sick and that's going to create more problems right so what we need to do right now is flatten the curve which means 
make sure the wave that's coming through is not extremely large that it overwhelms our societies right we want to reduce the number of cases that our healthcare systems have to deal with okay so keep your physical distance from people do your social activity online on the phone playing games right read a lot of books okay reduce your physical contact with people a little bit you can still remain social just so you know you give the system a break Martin adults for me uh, are 25 plus but you have to let people in to your bar Martin who are how what's the what's the age limit in uh, the UK what's the age limit in the UK I think it's 19 isn't it or is it 18 yeah and and temp states it correctly i wonder if anyone really knows what reality is like really detached from reality some people say i'm totally detached from reality am i detached from reality do you know how many math professors i knew that were completely detached from reality your reality my reality so difficult to communicate to them with them right <laughs> trying to get them to answer a question that made sense to you was like my god what did what is this person lives on mars like the, the person couldn't communicate right 18 plus okay martin honestly yeah they should raise the age of adulthood i had i had no clue what was going on at 18 i i agree with you i didn't either but it's not because you weren't old enough to know what was going on it was because our centralized education system was hor so horrendous it didn't prepare you for what was coming right and that's in the western world by the way you go to other parts of the world 18 man they're wise they're, they had to they had to struggle to survive to feed the families right so 18 here in canada is a totally different game than 18 in afghanistan okay 18 in certain parts of africa latin america certain even certain cities in canada i live on the west coast 18 here i lived in la la land right different game if you're different parts of the world i'm pretty sure growing up 18 in detroit would have been a lot different than 18 in vancouver huge huge than 18 in cuba huge huge right i'm scrolling down gang I need to pop an apple with a little bit of peanut butter. Take a look, take a look. Nice. And Temp says it. I don't know i know some 14 years old that are wiser than some 30 year olds i know yeah me too i have students that know more about the world what's going on in the world than 40 year olds 50 year olds 30 year olds that i talk to i can sit down with some of my students and talk about what exponential growth means in our societies and how the economic system works more in depthly than I could with a lot of people I know because they're lost. Always be making. I have a 16 year old student from Venezuela. He's lived a lot of hard life. Yeah, more than me. I say, yeah, for sure. For sure. And people, you have to give that respect right and we also have to appreciate that they're only 16 years old they're wise but we have to be able to uh, give them the tools they need to be able to prosper in this world to be able to do what they need to do right once you live that hard of a life growing up uh, 
it might be difficult to accept a lot of things that you might have access to that you would otherwise turn away right i'm not saying that correctly but i'll think about a different way of saying it speaking for myself i was still a dumb yeah catholic traditionalist i was a dumb a that you wrote down a star star when i was in my early 30s really i did some dumbass stuff when i was 18 i was very wise to be fair martin says but i had already seen half the world at that point awesome martin so maybe it's an individual to individual thing 100 percent i was a smart kid at 18 but i was not wise by anyone's standard that was a public education failure they teach facts not thinking for yourself yeah and i'd question the facts bit as well temp i myself when i was 18 was a stupid kid <laughs> technically i'm still a stupid kid just self-aware of that yeah and that's the beauty of it right once you're self-aware once you realize how dumb we are then man then the learning begins right brilliant 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 here here a catholic traditionalist says right it's the self-awareness that is uh the key yeah there's too many gits what is a git i've never heard of git but i like it out there who don't realize their gits git i gotta look this up gang i gotta make sure i'm not saying a bad word <laughs> am i saying a bad word <laughs> git what's a git foolish or worthless person ah okay first time i'm hearing this word i love it a foolish a foolish or worthless person git yeah i was a big git idiot an idiot british slang i think it's british slang cool very cool i like it when i was 16 i was in berlin and saw the berlin wall fall oh very cool martin i still have have a have it oh you got a piece awesome fair point traswell uh oops sorry gang chicho um fair point chicho i amend my statement public education taught bias facts fact america is the best and did nothing wrong ever right <laughs> get his source control get his source control a little bug off says perps how's it going it does make me question society how females are mentally mentally mature by 18 but men don't mature till 25 wouldn't women be make, taking advantage of men in that case uh here's the thing perps uh the menstrual cycle kicking in and forces a lot of females to deal with the reality of nature with guys we have our own issues with men we have our own issues but it's not as traumatic okay as for the thing wouldn't women be taking advantage of men in that case i think it's not women or men it's just human beings tend to take advantage of each other uh, unfortunately some anyway github is the uk must be completely different it, yeah github i've heard about it. i forget what it uh, what it is chicho do you think regrets are real considering you would only have made a different choice given the knowledge you have uh, you can have regrets twice cooked pork how are you doing by the way you can have regrets i got regrets in my life but and i'm a human being i have certain regrets that i man i wish i didn't do them however everything that has transpired in my life the decisions i've made in my life the luck that has come my way right the luck that has slipped through my fingers my experience in life has brought me to this point in time right some people say you're not supposed to say this point in time because time the only point would be in time the time would be exactly this point right but if you think about it a different way you could say it i guess right i've had to loop that a few times right but it has brought me to this point right as to who i am what i'm doing i'm happy with where i am right now 
right do i have do i have improvements to make 100 percent. so do i have regrets from the past 100 percent. but i don't loop those regrets anymore i stopped looping those regrets about 10 years ago so when i was 40 ish late 30s late 30s or so i stopped stop not yeah late 30s i stopped looping the regrets i had because i realized i got to a place where i was happy with who i was right proud of where i was proud of what i was trying to do right so get your get yourself to a place where you're proud of who you are you're proud of your achievements you're proud of who you are becoming and who your who your heroes are right and you can have heroes if you want people you look up to philosophies you believe right slowly get yourself to that state and realize that you're always going to try to improve yourself that way you you stop looping those regrets you you can convince yourself or realize that those mistakes that you made is made you who you are right that was a long ass tangent i think compared to what you asked me do you think regrets are real considering you would only have made a different choice given the long knowledge you have now yeah you make the best choice with the knowledge you have at the time that's the best you could do in life and you're always going to be missing information okay i'm scrolling down again gang going down to the bottom i think maturity was the wrong term to use brain development happens faster women what's the current topic right now i'm not sure coolio we're going everywhere how's it going or i'm going everywhere anyway i'm pretty sure there's some solid discussions being made on, on the chat A bit random yeah all over the place like the political system we're talking about we talked about economics current economics and finance and wall street and politics but it should be pretty obvious to everyone that the whole system is completely rigged and completely corrupt, right? So the name of the game for me is build alternate platforms that people can divest into, right? And decentralize, decentralize, decentralize. If we want to fix education get in the discord and get with me it will fix a lot of things knock on effect yeah i'm eating apple and peanut butter and also toast and peanut butter and check this out you can do them together <laughs> get your toast and apple together dip it into the peanut butter right Make sure you get enough peanut butter that your your taste buds are going to be satisfied. They look like this. So toast, apple, peanut butter. Ooh, don't lose any. Zare, how you doing? I've completely abandoned ship with current political structures. There's no turning back <laughs> from the establishment. <laughs> that's it. You're out. And that's a great, great place to be if you want to be there, right? Peanut butter is the ideal quarantine food. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of it. I'm loving it. Hi from the UK king sid how are you doing welcome welcome i was thinking the other day about the feasibility of a crowdfunded news network there's a there's a few of them coolio that heavily vets its journalists and that is completely transparent with its money to the point where it is the company accountant's job to publicly post how all the dollars are spent fantastic right there's a lot of uh, uh independent news a crowdfunded news sources right i don't know any that's doing a public where they're spending their money but there's a few of them how's the uk dealing with old boris having the COVID? yeah 
Now, do you guys believe that he has COVID? I don't. I don't believe a word that comes out of that guy's mouth, right? Chicho, I want to travel home and ride out the storm there. But I'm worried for my parents with my presence. Yeah, Martin. You would have to go into quarantine beforehand. They're bringing out test kits, by the way. But the, the accuracy of test kits is whatever, right? Uh, they're releasing test kits that you can test yourself or you can get tested within five minutes. So if you're worried about it, you could you could get tested. Like, Don't just do it once. Get two or three times, right? Uh, and if you pass three times, uh, you know, clean bill of health, then the probability is you probably don't have right but again there's a incubation period the tests aren't 100 percent accurate i would like personally i wouldn't uh, if they're immune compromised if they're much older and they would be older i guess uh, we're about the same age uh you are younger by a decade right um so you have to be careful you have to be careful right like uh, you know my partner is a nurse right so she gets exposed to it so i'm keeping my interaction like i had students that wanted to hook up and i told them listen uh we're doing physical distancing right now we got to do it online so i lost some students because they don't have the means to do it online right and i have some other students that i was seeing a person and i brought them online right so i'm keeping my physical distance from people okay even though i don't think i'm going to get sick i think I'm probably immune because of earlier on I got cold flu right um, so I'm keeping away personally video with them brother can you video with them do they have the means do they know how to do I call by the way I call my mom and I call my grandma every day right I talk with them touch base with them right and I still have my grandma anyone think something like that could survive or even thrive mm, i don't know what that one is not good crowdfunding news exists oh the news yeah for sure coolio it can 100 percent. They, they they already do exist how is you chicho how do you think we can help educate the children of those who are economically disadvantaged outside of the centralized education system for me bird I'm creating content putting it online I'm making myself available for a couple of hours uh, I was trying to do it on a weekly basis I haven't you know we were doing it on a weekly basis for a while uh, but in the next set of streams I announce I'm gonna you know every time I announce something the set of streams I make myself available on twitch to help people with mathematics right so and I've been doing this the twitch I've been doing for a couple of years now I guess uh, but the videos I've been putting out for 15 years so that's what I'm doing uh, everybody's solution is going to be different uh, like when the strikes were happening in Chicago um, if you remember there were there were a few years ago there were there were um, uh, teacher strikes and student strikes because Manuel was closing schools in Chicago and people were like what the hell's going on and stuff like this I sent an email to some of the organizations in Chicago saying, listen, I'm in Vancouver. If you guys have students that want to learn mathematics, I will give my time for free and I will help them out, right? So consider me as a math instructor that you can turn to if you need help to do this. It never came, it never realized itself, but I made the offer, right? okay i'm gonna scroll trying to catch up with chat oh lots of chat lots of chat oh, okay i scrolled all the way down gang okay if there's again if there's anything directed towards me please let me know and uh and by the way gang uh, i've been seeing a lot of follows and stuff happening thank you for the follows thank you for the subs uh i do appreciate it uh and just to let you guys know uh, i've scrolled on all the way to the bottom but uh we do have a presence on patreon okay if you want to follow the work the videos and stuff we're putting out patreon is a good place that you can follow the work you can just follow you don't have to you don't have to uh subscribe with uh funds if you do have the means fantastic it's a great way to support this project 
okay we are live streaming this on twitch and i'm mentioning this because we're loading this on youtube and bitshoot okay and i do announce these things on twitter gap minds vk and elo so if you follow those social platforms announcement platforms i guess i do announce the live streams 30 minutes before we go live okay and we're loading these things on these videos on bitshoot and youtube and right now name of the game is flatten the curve do not overwhelm your healthcare systems okay keep your physical distance from people until this storm passes okay i'm gonna go back to the chat chicho what book is the plant reaching for <laughs> which tentacle this one <laughs> <laughs> is reaching for like seriously uh it's reaching for there is a linear algebra book up there and beside the linear algebra i've the only book that i collect that i that i've bought multiple copies of except for krishnamurti um krishnamurti's education and the significance significance of life so i've bought some copies of uh, krishnamurti's education and the significance of life and i've given it as gifts to some of my students right the only other book and that's not for collecting that's for giving but there is a book there are two books that i collect that i buy if i can get it at a reasonable price at a good price okay and the two books are written by dm turner okay and they're called uh salvia divinorum the psychedelic essence salva no it's called salvador and a the psychedelic essence of salvia divinorum and the other book he wrote he only wrote two books and the other book he wrote was uh, uh psychedelic uh, it's about his uh, him being a psychonaut experimenting with different types of entheogens and chemicals and stuff so the plant this guy is pointing to them I have like three copies of each okay it knows where it wants to go hi chicho baked how you doing you've been here you've been here you've been here almost you've been here the whole stream uh what reasons do you think uh boris would have to lie about having COVID? sympathy the guy's a actor sympathy initially he said uh what do you call it herd mentality and i'm pretty sure the uk healthcare system is going to be overwhelmed if not overwhelmed already so out of the public light all right i don't know i'm just guessing i just don't believe anything the guy says why would i like perpetual liars like why believe them just because they said something are you going to prank your partner for April Fool's Day? Um, no, not really. I don't. I don't like lying. Um, I'm not a. Yeah, I never. I never really appreciated April Fool's Day. Tell you the truth, right? I'm. It's not my thing. I do play tricks on people. I do. It's like Valentine's Day. I don't care about Valentine's Day. Like if you want to show love for someone, just show them love, right? I don't. I don't like this institute. 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 Oh God, I can't even say it. Institutalization. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't like the centralization of joy. Of love, of pleasure, of caring. I don't like it. I, I, I decentral instit in I'm gonna read this. Institu institutionalization. Institu institutionalization. 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 Institu <laughs> there are times where I can say it. I can't say it today. I'm in two speed mode right now. Vex, how you doing? You're doing a raid on us. How's life? Did you play game? Did you have a good good time tonight? 
English is hard. <laughs> Update from our family Spider Man. Wife got tested for COVID, waiting for results. When do you get the results, Spider Man? Vax. Vax, how you doing? What are you drinking there? I'm drinking, uh, hi BD, tea. It's, uh, I've been drinking, the tea I've been making is Persian black tea, ginger, and mint. That's what I've been drinking for the last week. Every morning I put it together, lots of black tea, uh, mint that we dried. We have drying mint, all right? Videos that we have up and ginger. Red eye is a main uh, symptom of COVID-19, or so I have been told. Red eye, really, Martin? Vex, yes, it was super fun. Nice, about the game. Had to come wind down while we discuss some current events. Awesome, Vex. I'm glad you guys had a fantastic time. Kings. My other half heard, heard, my, heard my call when they confirmed that I had it and they was they were scared they cried when they heard the bad news that i had the covid 19 you have you have covid have you come out of it yet are you okay now great suicidal tendencies song math is hard which one is a great suicidal tendency song Ch -ch. intelligent mary chicho can i ask you can read my current situation i typed it in chat a bit earlier Ch -ch -ch. intelligent blueberry can you post it again oh part two. Oh, there's part one. Oh, here let me read this sure let's check it out uh oh chicho i need your advice on something part one so i was supposed to do summer courses next semester but since it's fully online and if uh borders open oh that's right you were Go on say I have the chance to go back home and do my summer courses in Aruba. Uh oh, Chicho, I need your advice on something. Part one. So I was supposed to do summer courses next semester, but since it's fully online and if borders open, I have the chance to go back home and do my summer courses in Aruba. Part two. Now the problem is if borders do open up. The first few tickets will be expensive or hard to get. Now, uh, maybe, maybe not, right? Now, the thing is, if I don't go home, I have to pay for rent for four months plus my phone bill contracted. If I go home, I won't have to pay for rent, but I do have to pay for my phone, which is Aruba. In Aruba would be rendered as useless. What do you think I should do? Well, if you're going to come back uh, for school again, I'm assuming you're going to keep your phone. So you're you're not throwing away your phone. You're going to come back and use it again. So that's not a write off. So you can't count that in the in the economics, personal finance aspect of it. Right. You're just putting that on hold. So that's not a waste of money. Right. I'm assuming you're going to come back and do your thing. Um, it depends. Four months rents is pretty expensive. I don't think that your ticket is going to be that high, but you also have to consider this. It's in the summer. Let's see where the pandemic goes. Are there a lot of cases in Aruba? Are you going there from a city that has a lot of cases? If it does, you need to make sure when you go to Aruba, you can isolate yourself for minimum two weeks, three weeks. So you have to consider a lot of things. Look into the costs. Look into the expenses and costs. Oh, another thing you could do, Intelligent Blueberry. Right now, book a ticket. Just buy insurance. When you book your flight ticket, it used to be like this anyway, you can pay an extra $50 for flight insurance, right? So book your ticket. If you decide at that moment you don't want to go, you cancel it, you lose 50 bucks. So it's a $50 investment. You set your mind at ease you keep both options open that would be my recommendation right hopefully you can still book tickets right i hope that answers your question 
Also, sorry for my technical difficulties. Spider-Man, how's it going? Three to seven days. Oh, it takes three to seven days, eh? For the test. Sorry. Math is hard, even though I still know a lot of that. <laughs> Math is, it could be hard, I agree. But one, the more the more you learn math the easier it becomes that's the kicker with math is front end loaded right initially it's hard and then the more you know the the easier it is to learn that language right or to coast and if i can recommend anything get into stuff that's front end loaded hard at first and then you can coast right i heard that as well that the ironically enough i saw that report five minutes after i woke up what was the report oh i missed the chat okay i'm gonna scroll down gang sorry i'm going down i want to read intelligent blueberry stuff and i lost uh i lost the chat hentavirus has been around for a while it's really a direct contact thing hentavirus i don't know what hentavirus is i'm from perth australia which is one of the most isolated cities in the world something i generally dislike however in term in times like this our isolation has benefited us awesome that's good baked australia is uh going some through some uh, crazy stuff right crazy stuff from the fires to thanks absurdicon king sid thanks absurdicon you said can you read my last comment please was that it yeah, you just got over bushfires. Current events, the Florida pastor who held a gathering with 1,200 plus people, he's claiming First Amendment. He, he has a right to claim First Amendment, right? But he's an idiot. And those 1,200 people that went to his, to his, to his, you know, his flock that gathered around him, well, what do you call those people that, uh right uh you can shear them and make wool jackets from them really a centralized education system that's what that does what if apple and peanut butter is the corona cure chicho is immune <laughs> that would be amazing eh you would be you would see a run on peanut butter no 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 my last comment was about my other half oh can you post it again king said that way i don't have to scroll up because when i scroll up i lose everything let's do something something random chicho pick a random book behind you turn to a random page and read it for fun sure uh which one this or this 21 million people on such a big island Aust australia is so lucky yeah australia is almost as big as the united states this one or this one by the plant right side our right our right your right <laughs> if i'm watching this <laughs> right this side book on the left <laughs> okay by the plant or across from the plant yeah <laughs> Brad, you just went to... what other fruit does peanut butter go uh, bananas mm, bananas kiwi and peanut butter uh or bust kiwi i've never tried it with kiwi pick the salvia salvia books i have to reach up i'll gladly read you to salvia do you read any novels yeah for sure uh check out the chicho uh, science fiction novel recommendations somewhere in the middle 
I'm curious about that book. I just picked the book, The Plants. Are we going with uh, DM Turner? You can read both books for free, by the way. Let me see if I can reach it. Hold on a second. keep them in these I these are precious to me all right these are comic book bags I put them in bags and board okay DM Turner is surely a pen name right right yes and DM Turner died uh, supposedly uh, and he died I guess uh, science fiction oh thank you spider-man I remember getting comics in those bags and, this. and the, I put them in mylar by the way these are mylar bags as well all right this book is called, and he wrote this one first. Okay, it's called the uh, Essential Psychedelic Guide, and you can find this for free online. You can read it for free online. Okay, it's about basically his his uh, trips, right? Okay, Salvadoran, the psychedelic essence of Salvio de Venora. I've read both of these twice online. Which one? Which book do we want to read from? Mm -hmm. Which book? Both are tempting. Indeed, they are. East Coast timing is catching up with you chat thanks chicho take care take you too cheryl thanks for hanging around red cover the psychedelic red one okay the red one it is i have a one in another place that's a little bit rougher out of all the psychedelics i know the least about salvia earwid did you see the movie, Chicho, the Doctor Strange movie? Yeah, I did, Spider-Man. I liked it. It was a good movie. I have not told my other half that I'm not eating much food every day and night because of my COVID. They don't know that you have COVID? What is the best way to tell my other half as I'm scared that if I tell my other half, they might get mad at me? Dude, you have to tell them. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> no like if i read that correctly both the blue pill the blue pill <laughs> they get mad at you for being sick <laughs> like <laughs> dude you got to tell them like I, like i'm i'm guessing at some point you could technically legally now i'm not a lawyer or anything like this you could charge someone for attempted murder if they don't tell people they have covid and they go cuddle with them and touch them whatever it is right this wasn't a good copy this wasn't a, this is a really good copy as well flip 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 okay i'm gonna go slowly oh no we can't say slow chicho uh am i allowed to ask if you've done salvia you can ask you mean maria pastora salvia divinorum right the diviner sage are you not eating enough because you have no appetite or something you can ask aha uh -huh, but he doesn't have to give you a clear answer it's considered a plot of terrorism if someone with covid intentionally coughs on uh, essential items yeah like dude has books on psychedelics all you need to know <laughs> 
and you can read again you can read this book online for free it's the only print there is no other prints of this because the family of dm turner did not agree with his lifestyle so they haven't allowed these books to be published again okay i'm gonna flip we're gonna read something so these are psychedelic trip reports right so we're on page 38 this is a really good copy actually i don't want to break the spine so page 38 okay check this out okay i'm going to read that some of these words i might not uh pronounce correctly so let's read a little dm turner sorry gang if i'm not going to catch up on the chat later on um will show 45 new to chicho live been a long time watcher on chicho on youtube from the first outdoor math adventures looking to start uh tuning into these right awesome awesome old timer fantastic will show 45 thank you for coming on to the live streams and thank you for hanging around for this long right that makes me happy so let me read you from the Essential Psychedelic Guide by D.M. Turner, page 38. Okay. The belladonna alkaloids are reputed to, poten to potential uh, mescaline. I haven't tried this. Mescaline may be significantly intensified and possibly dangerous if combined with MAO inhibitors. Okay, and MN, MAO inhibitors are the stuff you need to take before you do uh, the ayahuasca. Well, the MAO inhibitors go with the ayahuasca brew as well, right? Bernard Roseman from the Peyote Story. Okay. Always be making. Thank you very much for the subscrip subscription. The only mind that betrayed from the meeting was my own. The resounding drum thundered throughout my being. I could not distinguish the Hogan from the interior of my own skull. I drifted further away from the meeting until I was completely unaware of sounds or the presence of others. I walked over to a huge velvet curtain and as I touched it, it slowly parted on the other side of a magnificent world sprang up this world was sprinkled with little shining crystals and the absolute silence lent itself to a silk song that continued without an apparent end little droplets of pure molten silver were falling from the heavens and each blending of non-existent non-existent sound had blended to become the purest light each sight in this most significant of worlds represented infinite perfection a sharp knife like this uh, distinction separated each spectacle from all others all about were the most perfect cogs too perfect to be known in my everyday world these cogs were spinning in opposing direction to one another with one with no other purpose than being the universe was enclosed in a huge round dome and contained millions of replicas of the same world each representing a different plane of consciousness okay let me will shows 45 thank you very much for the uh tier one sub let me flip down more <laughs> here we go here's the dm turner and what he did with these things he had a very scientific mind right he was categorizing he was reporting doing trip reports right and what he would do he would write these things out right and he for example he would rate the trip he would explain what he was taking and what the journey was like right <laughs> martin these streams are keeping me saying thanks fellow chichonians yeah thank you very much gang by the way 
uh, the community we got here is fantastic fantastic so this one is called see these guys there's little elves here right these guys here take a look the little elves are a commonality between many many DMT uh, people who have tried DMT they they state they encounter these little green elves that talk to them that visit them right now the question is is it because people keep on saying they see little elves or are the little elves really there right so this trip is called DMT candy for the mind ready intensity 9 out of 10 9 out of 10 by the way in this book this book this book is about all different types of substances he took this one is about salvadoran a that he extracted from salvia divinorum and he took salvadoran a and mixed it in with other stuff he rates dmt as nine out of ten in this book right in this book nine out of ten in this book there's a sentence there that is absolutely magnificent okay i'm going to paraphrase it because i don't know exactly where it is i've read it multiple times actually i've read this book actually more than twice i've made it like i've read it like three or four times right at least and certain parts i've read more than that but there's a part in this book that he states the following he says Sal salvadoran a is to dmt as what dmt is to lsd okay now wrap your head around that for a second let's read this dmt candy for the mind intensity nine to ten okay safety factors and he has safety stuff in his books which is fantastic uh there's a couple of chicho comments here let me see da, 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 savior martin same here i've been having tough times lately and you all make it so much better especially and uh, thanks spider-man chicho does he talk about the experiences objectively or does he have positive and negative experiences he has positive and negative experiences and he documents them he was a pure psychonaut he is in my book uh one of the greatest psychonauts to ever walk this earth okay so safety factors 5 meo dmt is an mao inhibitor see list of items not to take with mao inhibitor in inhibitors on page 19. since dmt takes effect effect almost immediately use users normally lie down or sit in a reclining position prior to taking a hit one will neither be able to stand up or have the ability to recognize their surroundings if they get a good hit okay material nn dimethyltryptamine and 5 meth methoxy dimethyltryptamine are naturally occurring psychedelics found in a variety of plants around the world several of which are native to the amazon region these alkaloids which are usually found together in the plants are also found in the human brain as neurotransmitters as well as in our blood urine and spinal fluid dmt is produced in the human penal gland which is correlated to the third eye or ajna chakra in the indian spiritual system meditative states attained by yogis who concentrate on the third eye may be the result of increased dmt levels dmt is produced in heavy concentrations in the glands of some tropical toads such as buffalo alvarius some people actually make a practice of squeezing out this venom then trying and then drying and smoking it to get high dn dmt and 5 m m e o dmt are also manufactured synthetically as separate compounds and sold on the underground ma market 
And although it's quite rare in the psychedelic underground, synthetic DMT is used much more often than DMT from natural sources. Okay. I'm going to keep on reading. And he goes into the history of DMT. Now, I'm only going to read one more page. You guys tell me which one you want me to read. Read. He's got the history of DMT on this page. Okay. He has dosage and it, uh, administration on this page, right? He's got his trip report on this page, which is the high, right? And some of his trip reports are trippy, right? And he continues, he continues the DMT high, and then he goes into mixing stuff, DMT with other things, saying the DMT high with harm, har, harmala alkaloids. Okay. And then, and then he goes into harmala alkaloids linked to ancient spirits, and then he continues there. So this is a very progressive book. It layers the information. Which one do you guys want to read? Do you want to read the history dosage and administration or the high I just one page from each one okay coolio you can read it for free online okay just do the essence of uh, the essential psychedelic guide dm turner and you'll be able to find it read the trip report good choice good choice bird trip report are so cool to hear indeed trip report trip report it is and just to let you know how important in my opinion this book and the other book are in honor of dm turner okay in recognition of dm turner i wrote a trip report and i submitted it to Irwid and the Shroomery and my trip report they accepted and published it on Irwid and Shroomery okay so in recognition of DM Turner the work he did okay I did something similar to him to as a tribute to DM Turner okay let's read I'm just gonna read this this part this page whoop, this page this this much of it right because it's like a four pager the high from nn dmt and 5 meo dmt are similar yet have some distinct differences the typical dmt uh trip is an order of magnitude more potent than a trip on the traditional psychedelic of the traditional on the traditional psychedelics lsd psilocybin or mescaline when smoking the mt the high comes on within about 30 seconds within the next 30 seconds i am propelled to a high as intense as the peak of a thousand plus uh, mcg acid trip microgram acid trip generally by this point I will be completely out of my body and unaware of my physical surroundings this intense part of the experience although seemingly timeless while i'm in it lasts only two to five minutes i then drift back quickly to regular consciousness on five meo meo i am back within 20 minutes with nn i am back in 30 minutes in the 60s dmt was called the businessman's lunch trip okay what one will what one will experience on dmt is impossible to predict it can range from heaven to hell uh, cyberspace to jeweled palaces fear or person personified evil visions of a jungle visions visions of jungle animals contact with extraterrestrials links with ancient spirits or adventures with fairies and elves the dmt user should be prepared for anything on a full dose of dmt or ketamine one cannot guide the trip with the mind or thoughts the way 
the way an LSD trip can be guided. One can, however, direct the trip but what, by what I will call the intent of the soul or will. Many users, including myself, have felt possessed by various spirits while on DMT, as if becoming a medium and channeling alien thoughts. This can be quite heavy. It has it has been generally positive for myself and the people I've smoked DMT with, but I've heard stories from others who have experienced the opposite extreme. On DMT, the perception of time slows to nearly a complete stop. During this stage, one may, may feel that they are not breathing or that their heart has stopped. However, this is due to one state of perception. Many users report being aware of millions of vibrations and sounds going through the universe and their bodies, the body often bursting with energy they never knew existed. One can, one can let these feelings flow through them, or if appropriate, direct the movement to some type of dance, yogic experience, or drumming. These physical manifest these physically manifesting energies are gentle on NN DMT than on 5-MeO DMT. Okay. And then he goes on to continue to just talk about the different things. And he's got a little thing here talking about Terence McKenna. Uh, in recent years, DMT has become quite notorious in the psychedelic underground, primarily through the writings of Terence McKenna. Right. And he continues. Chat goes silent. Jay Shorty's chat goes silent. <laughs> it's cool. This one is not necessarily uh, his thing. He was just going through. And he's got a picture here. Check this out. Right? Cool, eh? Further exploration. Where do we go from here? brilliant brilliant hoping some of this imagery gets into my dreams tonight nice my thoughts too i would be worried that general stress could lead me down a bad path uh there's a saying in the psychedelic world you learn a lot more from bad trips than you do from good ones okay Should we crack open? <laughs> oh, we're already two hours plus. Maybe we save this for another day. Maybe we save this for another day. I've been meaning to do soft-spoken reading from this, by the way. The way we've done uh, other soft-spoken readings. Okay. Fun. I'm seeing it with my waking eyes. I love the thing that it mentioned that a lot of yogis, when they concentrate on the third eye, right? That's where the, the glands are. Maybe by concentrating there, it releases more DMT, right? That's why they have that out-of-body experience, right? Astral projections. How did DMT prep for these experiments? Wouldn't frame of mind change the outcomes? Potentially, after a while, wouldn't prolonged usage of psychedelics skew the results of its uh, experiments it could also it just like learning a language right like it takes a long time to learn the power of the language of mathematics because you're not fully aware of it but you can't learn it all in one sitting you have to revisit it constantly and practice it right chicho the other day you mentioned your partner made you deep house playlist any chance you would want to share the playlist in discord i can do better than that here do i have it here do i have it here oh do i have my music where is my music tools oh it's on the other one that i listen to music fun oh hold on let me find it. 
Oh, wait, fuck. Where's my SoundCloud? I don't listen to SoundCloud on this, but I thought I had it on here. Oh, music. Come on, come on. Oh, it's not their pod. No. Oh, I don't have it here. I can't believe I don't have it bookmarked here. Hold on, let me see. Oh, hold on. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, wait a second. Sorry, gang, if I'm not paying attention. Cloud. Nice, nice. Let me see, let me see. I'm going to give you her SoundCloud. Uh, I'm going to give you her SoundCloud. Uh, playlist. Albums overview like come on. No, oh, where is the search? I haven't been to SoundCloud for a while. There it is. There it is. Okay, here's her SoundCloud. Uh, channel okay so uh, she just recently like in the last year she only has like three things loaded up and she's my source for electronic music okay so uh, if I remember I'll post this in the music folder on discord as well I'll just go on discord right now do it right now otherwise I'll forget music uh, she has uh, I've been she's by the way she's mentioned that uh, she's willing to do a live mix for us okay I posted it in uh, in our music discord page as well okay she's mentioned that uh, she's willing to do a live stream uh, mix for us so she might do a she might do one for us you can listen to her music uh, what she mixes and she just started by the way and she's done a few shows like she she's did a club show there was she was supposed to do one uh last weekend or a couple of weekends ago but social distancing come into effect so all concerts were canceled right uh, do you find similarities with like the culture i don't know what the shoe movement is brother <laughs> that's probably why <laughs> okay gang we've been going for two uh two hours right should we call the stream uh always be making chicho i want to be able to leave everyone with a quote from uh raul wingman which sums up the problem with education okay let's do this quote uh, whoever carries in his or her heart the dead corpse of his or her youth never educates uh, never educates anything but dead souls good educators are people for whom and then end quote and then always be making continues good educators are people for whom the love of learning is still alive and well passion is king there are ways to fix this guys yeah one more uh, spider-man one more hour no we can't do one more hour because i gotta i gotta fair bit of work to do tomorrow i gotta get the data ready for the live stream the COVID 19 live stream tomorrow right because today is march 31st i haven't put the charts together and brought everything into discord because i want to do it on a monthly basis right so i'm waiting for the data to be available today for today's data hopefully it's available and then that way we can have it all together just met me <laughs> spider-man I, I i will at certain points for sure i will at certain points it's only 6 14 here i'm awake <laughs> oh my God. martin it's in the morning right <laughs> that's right you're, you're like 6 30 you're already seeing the sunrise oh yeah go with stream tomorrow go with stream tomorrow gang okay. 
Okay. Uh, aside from that, thank you for being here, everyone. Fantastic conversations. Apologies if I scrolled a lot in the chat and I didn't get a chance. There was a lot of activity, and I think people were talking with each other. Fantastic. And tomorrow at 8.30 p.m., we're going to do a update uh, on our data for COVID-19. And we're going to focus on, uh, we're going to have a few different charts regarding the fatality rate. We're going to do a few comparisons. Okay. And uh, if you want to know who, 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 I, who I am, who we are, where I'm active on, Patreon is... Uh, a great place to be it's a great place to support this project if you want to follow what we're doing uh, lots of love 401 um, greeting <laughs> great meeting you guys great meeting you as well uh, will show thank you for popping in from the good old days of doing urban math graffiti on the walls right and we're live streaming this on twitch if you're watching this on another platform so you want to catch these things live you want to be on twitch I am on Twitter, Gab, Mind, VK, and Elo, and the links will be in the description of this video. And we're uploading these on BitChute and YouTube for now, and most likely other platforms in the future. And the name of the game right now is Flatten Your Curve, Give Your Healthcare Workers a Break. Aside from that, everybody, thank you for the conversations, mods, thank you for taking care of business. For those who followed and subscribed, thank you for the follows, thank you for the subscribes okay gang i hope you guys have a fantastic evening martin those of you in the uk and europe i hope you guys have a fantastic morning and i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it at 8 30 p.m p d t spider-man thank you brother i'll see you guys tomorrow bye for now gang stay safe ladies and gents good night thank you very much bye now